Okay, this video is going to be uh, basically building on to a video done by GotBlet2. I've mentioned GotBlet2 before. He does uh, Linux videos as well on YouTube. Check out his channel if you haven't. And he brought my attention to this site, uh, VTOL, VTOL.com. Uh, it's a pretty neat site, and uh, it's not for downloading videos, it's for streaming videos. Uh, and people stream TV shows, movies, whatever. Um, so this is neat. Uh, in some ways, you know, you don't have to worry about downloading and storing stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's streaming. So, basically, if a movie's half over, when you start watching, it's like watching TV. If you come in halfway, the movie's halfway over. Uh, and there are, there are channels uh, here, different categories. And uh, some of them will have, uh, you know, listings of when things are going to be on. So it's got, it's got its pluses and minuses to it. Um, now, Got Bled 2's video was on downloading and installing their program right here for watching the videos. And, um, and there was some confusion. I didn't understand why he needed to download that. And I, I finally have come to the conclusion that you just need that program to uh, watch the videos in HD, otherwise you'd be watching them in a standard uh, quality. And I guess there are might be some videos that are only available in HD. Um, and, you know, watch his video, check that out if you want to do that. Basically, just go download and they have a little shell script you can run that will download and install stuff. This is my, my advice, though, on that aspect of it is I would not do that. I tell my viewers all the time, uh, Unless there's no other choice, install your, your software from the repositories, your package manager. That is a huge part of Linux's security is that you're downloading your programs from the package manager where they've been tested by developers and they're transferred securely. Downloading a script here, uh, if you're going to download a script, I would at least look through it. I haven't even looked through it, but look through it, make sure there's nothing malicious in it. And if it's downloading and running other applications, well, you know, download each one of them manually look at it. I do not trust them, especially in the fact that this website's free to use and you can download their program, their little script, and view the videos in HD for free. So why why do we have to download? We should be able to watch HD right here in their Flash browser, a uh, Flash player, or using some other streaming device. So that that's my advice is I would not download that, but that's a personal choice. Um, but what I am going to show you today is not only how to view it um, outside of the browser using your regular media player like mPlayer, but also how to save the streams as they're going. And it's actually quite simple. So I'm going to give you an example here. I am going to uh, click on a video and it's going to start downloading the stream to play. Now in previous videos I showed you how to do similar stuff to this um, using uh, Firebug. Well, in Firefox 4, which was brought to my attention this morning by a viewer on a video I used Firebug in, that Firefox 4 actually has a built-in console. If you hit Control, Shift, and K, it brings up that console. And right here, you can see it trying to load the video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click here and just hit Copy. It's bringing up the same link over and over again, trying to get a good connection. And I do find that their little flash player on the site here sometimes takes a real long time to connect. Well. Once I have that link uh, copied, once again, that's Control Shift K, or you can just use Firebug plugin. But since that's already built into Firefox, that's Fox. That's one less thing that you have to uh, get installed. Um, we're going to open up a terminal screen here, and then I'm just going to type in M Player, but you can use VLC or whatever video player you like. And I'm going to paste in the information I just copied. There's a little extra information here. We can erase this. All we want is the URL for the FLV video right here. And I can press enter there and mPlayer will start streaming that video right there. Now that's great. I mean, obviously it loaded a lot faster than the player inside the browser. You don't have to worry about having Flash installed. Uh, although you may need Flash installed to actually get Firefox to detect that link being loaded. You can easily watch it full screen, but you don't have the hassle of um, of Flash while you're interacting because I know Flash, on, depending on your video card and the website itself, sometimes doesn't play well full screen. I haven't even tried with this site because I just rather play it with mPlayer. Well, here's another option. Let's say you want to download that stream to watch later. Now, once again, once you start downloading, it's going to start wherever it is in the show. So if you're halfway through movie or show, it's going to start at that point. But all I have to do is basically the same thing. Take that same link and I'm going to type wget. 
and you can see it says saving two. Now instead of giving you the regular progression bar here, it's kind of giving you a little uh, little back and forth bar. That's because there is no real end to this since it's streaming. But it's saving it to a file based on the name here. Once again, you can do the dash O to select an output name while you're downloading. Uh, but we can stop that at any point. And what I can do is I can list out uh, files here. I'll just list this out like so. And you can see there is a file with that name. Technically, this is an FLV file. You can add .flv to the end. But I'm just going to say mplayer and paste in that name and hit enter. And now I am watching the video, but I'm not streaming anymore. I'm actually playing it from a file that I just saved it to on my hard drive. And once again, it saves it till you uh, starts downloading it uh, from wherever it is in the video. And whenever you stop ring W, you get is when it will stop with that video. So. Um, you and once again, you don't have to use M player. You can use something like Totem. We'll say Totem, and I'll press Enter here. And you can definitely see the down here. I guess this is a 40-minute video altogether because it downloaded the timestamps for that video while it was streaming. Even though you don't have the full 40 minutes, uh, we only have whatever section, the 30 seconds or so we just downloaded. But if you wanted to save a streaming video from this site for later viewing, that is an option. Now, obviously, if you're going to be saving the video, you're better off going to another site where you can actually just download the whole thing. But maybe there's something on here, or for some reason you, you can't use one of those sites and you just want to use a direct HTTP download rather than a torrent or something like that, or a P2P interface. This allows you to just download it directly, um, just like, like that. So I just thought I'd add on to uh, Got uh, uh video. Uh, once again, check out his, his channel. He does a lot of good um, reviews on software. Um, although, once again, in, in my view, I do not install anything uh, that's not in the package manager unless there, there really, really is a need to. I, and I know that the site I'm downloading is from Secure. Uh, preferably the source code is available for me at least glance at and search through. But I don't know this v, v, uh, VTOL site. I don't know what they why they want you to download a script. You shouldn't have to to stream the video, um, and that's what I'm about to say is true about any proprietary software. Uh, is what are they hiding? Uh, there's this it just it just doesn't seem right to me that I have to download something to stream a video that I should be able to stream regardless. So what actually is their program doing? So that's once again. Uh, my concern, you can agree or disagree with it, but uh, either way, it is somewhat of a security risk to do that. Um, you may just think it's not as big a security risk as I do, but that's what I'm recommending. Anyway, I'd rather just watch the standard quality video uh, without the hassle of installing some software I don't know, uh, rather than watching HD and being iffy about whether my system's been compromised. Uh, and you can always just do a, a live uh, system or a one in a virtual box that's protected rather than your own system if you wanted to stream the HD video. But me personally, I'm not going to install some random script from a site that's going to be installing stuff on my sh machine and I have no clue what it's doing. But enough of my preaching about that. Thank you, GotBletsu, for bringing this site to my attention. I'm going to check it out some more, and I hope that everybody has a great day. <laughs>